So this one's asking us, what is the quantum number, um, or the quantum numbers actually, for the last electrons in carbon? And so what they mean by that is they want to find the very last electron in the carbon. So, which would be this electron right here. So it would be in the second period, it would be in the P block, and then it will be the second electron in the orbitals. And we'll see how we can do that. Um, so let's just draw all the electrons for carbon. So in the 1s, 2s, and then 2p, Right? In 1s we filled all of them, right? In 2s we also filled all of them. But in 2p, we only had two because remember carbon has six uh, electrons, six electrons when it's neutral. So we, we have to fill out six. So far we have four, now we have to fill out two more. Do we put it here, both of them there, or one here? And if you remember, the rule says it goes up like that. If we wanted this to go down, this would also have to go down, but they can't be reversed and they can't be both in the same orbital um, box. All right? uh, so now let's just do our quantum numbers. N, then we had L, then we had M, and we had MS. And sometimes they put a little ML underneath. Um, so what, what they want to ask is what is the quantum numbers for that electron right there? All right, so the, the quantum numbers for that is, well, n would be, well, it's 2p, right? So it, we would take that 2, right? It'd be, um, n will be 2. L, now remember L, L could either be um, 0 or 1, based on the n minus 1 rule. But because it's a p, remember, p always is 1, s is always 0, d is always 2, and f is always 3, all right? So now if we want to look at the m, L number, which is our magnetic number, our magnetic quantum number that denotes the orientation, we know that it will be negative 1, 0, or 1. Um, and these numbers can also be reversed. It could be 1, 0, negative 1, just like the 1 half and negative 1 half. We don't know which one it is, um, but the convention will just go with negative 1, 0, and 1. All right? And for the MCAT, it doesn't matter, for example, if this one was negative 1 or if this was 1. Uh, but you will know that this has to be 0. So the MCAT will never make you distinguish this first one as negative one or positive one. So that, just to get that clear. And the last one, same thing. They can't say if it's plus one half or minus one half. You just know that it's one of the two. Okay, so that's all we we're gonna do for that one. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is paramagnetic um, versus diamagnetic. And one way to remember this, uh, well, we'll go over the definition first. So paramagnetic has a magnetic spin um, and it has one electron is at least not paired. Uh, so for example, like this. This for sure would be paramagnetic. This as well would be paramagnetic. Um, diamagnetic means it has no spin and has two electrons in all the orbitals. So that's diamagnetic. And so is that. That's also diamagnetic. Um, so one way to remember this is just the, the, the prefix di um, obviously comes in two. So that means everything is paired. Everything comes in two. And what we meant by no magnetic spin was if we were to add these up, so positive one half, um, minus one half, positive one half, minus one half, positive one minus, that would add up to zero. But if we did this one, we would get positive one half, positive one half, and positive one half. And so that would be three over two for the magnetic spin or for the, the spin number. And so that would not be zero. So we know that the magnetic spin has to be zero if it is diamagnetic. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.